Jermaine, you're pro stayed in Europe, as you've outlined very eloquently, but you must have been some European countries you didn't want to stay in. And we're going to find out which ones they were now, as we play a game called I'm Jermaine Greer, get me out of this sexist country. I'm a Jermaine Greer, get me out of this sexist country. So here is a map of Europe. Now, uh, myself, the rest of us on the show, obviously have a lot of opinions on uh, how they treat women's rights and their attitudes towards sexual politics in each of these countries. But all our assumptions are, of course, based on lazy stereotypes and old-fashioned and informed opinions. So we want you to fill us in. Uh, we're going to take you through some countries and you just rate them on the basis of their attitudes towards women's rights. Um, let's look at France, a country where cheating is not only legal, it's encouraged, as far as I understand it. How's their attitude? France used to be le paradis des femmes, mm. the paradise of women. Uh, women ran salons, women were very visible socially, whereas in, in England, that's not the case. It's the difference between a Catholic country and a Protestant country, maybe. But there's also the Gallic interest, genuine interest in women. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them, from what you said, because that was an education, I'm going to give them a Richard Maidley, who, of course, is the world's <laughs> least sexist man. So, well done, France. Who knew? I, um, thought I was about to say he's the world's least attractive man. Well, that's uh. unfair. Is it unfair? Uh, his, his, opin his opinions, at least, should be very attractive to a woman like you. But anyway, let's talk about Sweden now, because, of course, what we know about sexual politics in Sweden is that ABBA was 50-50, half men, half women, but the men didn't let the women do any writing, so where does that leave us? <laughs> I think the women were too busy dieting to do any writing. All right. Also, the <laughs> women were good-looking and had very long legs, and the yes. men were both very plain, <laughs> you have to admit. <laughs> hey, they were. Yeah, so what do you think? Where does that leave us in terms of their attitude to uh, sexual they've, politics? They've got a big problem with domestic violence. That's that the right? thing. And that's connected to alcohol right. and to the fact that the winter lasts such a terribly, terribly Well, that's long a bit time. flimsy excuse for whacking your missus, isn't it? Sorry, yeah. it's dark and cold outside. What was I supposed to do? Uh, and I'm, I'm depressed. Yeah, yeah, I'm depressed, yeah. Depressed. Nevertheless, we've got to uh, condemn them for that, so we're going to rate them with a dapper laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Who is that? Uh, he's a man who also got comedy out of uh, domestic abuse. Uh, OK, let's turn to England now. Uh, very interesting <laughs> one. The UK, sorry, I should say. We, of course, did elect a female leader, but she did have a penis. <laughs> anyway, uh, where, where, how do we rate the UK? Well, what are the chances that a woman would get elected again? You know, Mrs Thatcher did a job for the Tories that they couldn't do for themselves. She brought in the working class. She unveiled the essential working class politics, of which are right wing. She built it into a, a new kind of Tory party, which has now kind of disappeared because we're now back with the Etonians. Uh, but they, they also dumped her. They dumped her cruelly. If you look at someone like Tony Blair, he's rolling in money. He's got all kinds of directorships and all kinds of sinecures. Margaret Thatcher had to go on the stump. She had to go and lecture like I used to have to do. Uh, they gave her nothing. They, they abandoned her. And so the thing you remember is her, her eyes full of tears. As she said, it's a funny old world. They cashiered her in the worst way. And that's their innate misogyny. I think England is the most misogynist country in Europe. Wow. I'm going to have to give a Clarkson. That's the best I've got left. <laughs>